Beneath the surface, take one. Take a moment to look in the mirror. Close your eyes. What do you see? Peace of mind. Where to find peace of mind? just an echo, and thoughts are soon to be privatized if you don't fit the standard. You're cast as a foe, like that cheap leather jacket you buy, so eager to fit in to some circle, some moment where the light shines on you. But what about our roots? From the darkest places grow the brightest trees and so we sow seeds in dirt. The darker, the better, fueled with compost and manure. It's no joke. Wisdom is not what we inherit. It cannot be memorized. We must walk over bridges or build them. It takes seeing what we look at, questioning the landscape. In the differences, we find how connected everything really is. Our independence rises like a flame, like a mighty golden sunrise. And this scares some who wish to control or subdue you. For your steps shake and crumble the mirrors of distraction. Remember, your eye is on you. And what will it take to find more parallels? To find where ignorance lives within and participate? and trading it in for some heavy duty truth or insight. Would you like to see who is the one breathing your every breath? Thoughts were not censored. If we had access to the profits made that keep so many confined, controlled by hands you and me didn't choose. For the grassroots of this system are dead, like the hair on our head, yet it still grows. What if we participate in turning the hand of time to activate our suffering into opportunity, to take the trouble, the pain, the injustice, and the shame, and look at it right in the face. Hold our stare, feel the discomfort, and look even deeper. This is revolution, to no longer be consumed by everyday living merely to survive and pass on to the next generations all that we were never given. 
to wake up and see, to wake up and see, to wake up and see what lives beneath the what surface. Lives beneath the surface. What lives beneath the eyes surface. closed. Eyes closed. Eyes closed. There must be an echo in this chamber. In this chamber. In this chamber. There must be patterns and trends. There must be a way through. A way to be kind to oneself and to others. To believe in what isn't and what has never been. There must be constellations, constellations full of stories, stories like songs, songs, maps of perception, perception. wormholes to our freedom. 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 But is it so simple? History tells us not. It says we've never lived as sister and brother. It says we are fools of greed, of power, and of wealth. But history is written by men. Her story is not passed down to children growing up. In libraries, you may find feminism books, but let me tell you, this hierarchy is a design because each and every human on this planet got to be here because a woman gave birth. And while women were busy raising families, men wrote the books. Men wrote the books. And we believed them. I mean, these were our parents. And some of us went astray, finding our own way, apart from dogma and constraints, unlearning the narrow mindset, finding truth wherever we look. Because fractures can be healed, and broken pieces can be sewn back together. It doesn't matter how many times you break, or you're wrong, or how many times you make mistakes. When the sun rises, we have a new day, a fresh start, if we so choose. Trends have been made to keep folks consumed. So learn from the past and find new ways. Make waves with your footstep. Yes, make waves wherever you go. Let there be water in every moment to be thanked for giving you and giving me this life and our health. The drops that quench our fear and adversity stepping into resiliency. The wings we each carry like webs of spiders all interconnected. So look up, see what is around, above and beyond. There is a world where we can all exist, where we can think different thoughts with no hate in our hearts, where we look out for each other and tend to our soil world where the pyramid of control gets flipped upside down. A world where we are the leaders of our humanity. As a people and a person, as an individual and a unit counted at the table. A world where we listen more than we speak so that we learn to see further than our eyes can see and deeper than our thoughts get weaved. And if we can get there, the way must be all ways. Impossible, I've been told. Maybe. Isn't it worth a thought? Pulling up ideas of peace justice, of freedom. We can't find what we're not looking for. Comfort, 
breeds complacency and somehow this is a trend. We pretend we are powerless. Have you looked inside yet? We have ourselves a mess and we're still waiting for someone else to fix this. We were born dreamers. So why is it that we gave up, gave in to a system that steals dreams from under our bed? I am tired and fed up of my own static movement. An activist is being born not to break down doors, but to open hearts so that this home is no longer divided by concepts we keep playing in our heads. So drop into your heart. Feel it with your mind. What do you see when you close your eyes? Mmm. -hmm.